this is Boy Jeopardy! Our contestants today, a personal trainer from Miami, Florida, Jared Marshall. Ah, yo, girl, you tired? <laughs> you been running through my mind all night. <laughs> a real estate agent from Las Vegas, Nevada, Chris Thompson. Come check out my property. I got that open house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Finally, we have a... Uh, What's this guy doing? He works with his dad. This guy who works with his dad, Zach Clifton. It's financial assistant and it's an important job. Well, I hope you're not driving tonight, Zach. But I'll definitely be driving you crazy. <laughs> Christ, okay. Let's see our categories. Dating apps, flexing and texting, whining and dining, bedroom intimacy. Sorry, babe. This is just who I am, the anatomy of a female, and it go down in the DMs. It go down, it go. <laughs> Let's start off with our returning champion, Jared. Give me a go down at yeah, 200. In hopes of starting an actual conversation, you reply to her story with this after she posts a booty pic while vacationing in Tulum. Jared. What is a fire emoji? Correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bedroom intimacy, 200. She cuddles up on you after sex. You say this. Zach. What is, do you need me to call you an Uber? You got it. I'll take flexing and texting for $200. You lay in bed alone at 2 a.m. following a long night out at the bars. In a last minute Hail Mary attempt to get laid, you send out this mass text to seven different women. Zach? What is you up? That's it. I am loving this impressive start from Zach. Good, because you're never going to finish. I'm aware. <laughs> I'll take sorry, babe. It's just who I am, babe, for $200. The path of least resistance. You prefer women who have these. Chris? What are daddy issues? Correct. True. Let me get female anatomy for two, please. Due to your selfishness, and sheer unwillingness to educate yourselves on the matter, your partner will never experience this overwhelming sensation. Chris? What is a climax? Correct. Ha! What is a climax? <laughs> Flexing and texting for four, please. You're in bed with your main chick. When your side piece texts you, you still coming? You respond with this. Zach? What is I'm hitting her tomorrow and saying my phone died? Smiley face. That's it. Wait, Jared, did you just change into a hoodie? <laughs> I guess what it's made out of. No, please don't. Boyfriend material, you wanna try it? Mm, nah, I'm just planning on loving the single life, baby. Ready to mingle. <laughs> Dating apps for $200. She shows up less attractive in real life than on her Tinder profile. So you pull this out. Zach? What is take out a fifth of Jack Daniels? Start drinking it. Jesus Christ, no. I have a problem. Chris? What is a brown paper bag? What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> Jared. What is my phone to call an Uber as soon as she goes to the restroom? Correct. <laughs> skirt, skirt. Yo, tell him, Jay Bone. Bedroom intimacy, 400. An integral part to any sexual interaction, yet something you refuse to do regularly out of pure laziness. Jared. What is going down on a woman? Correct again. Oh, I've done that. No, you haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Not for me. Just that, I don't like Jared, it. Jared, you are on a roll and you are up. Always in, we'll take whining and dining for two spankies. Huh? Midway through your first date, it has become clear that she has a three date rule and you will definitely not be getting laid tonight. You immediately do this. Chris. What is split the bill? Yes. Bedroom for four. You never wear this. What is a condom? You have to buzz in. I am buzzing. <laughs> I have the clap. I mean, uh, butt stuff. I mean, bedroom intimacy for $600. You've been spending quality time and having sex regularly with the same girl for several months. The girl finally asks where your relationship stands and you respond with this. Zach? What is, what, just a heads up, I am not interested in a relationship right now. Yes. I will take bedroom intimacy for $8,000. You nonchalantly float this idea by your girlfriend on a bi-monthly basis. But when she gets super upset, you respond with, I know she's your best friend. I would never actually do that. I was only kidding. Jared. What is, babe? We should try a threesome sometime, huh? Correct. Uh, female anatomy, 600. What do we have here? A daily double. <laughs> this pill quickly became popular in contemporary hookup culture to rescue traditional hookers and man whores alike from having unwanted children. What is plan B? Correct. We also would have accepted the morning after pill. It's like a get out of jail free card. <laughs> I three children with three different women. Now that takes us on to Final Jeopardy. We're going to make this very simple for you very simple guys. Inside which female body part is the G spot located? Contestants, make your wager. No, stop losing your mind. Let's see what we've got. Zach, first. I wrote tiggle bitties. No, Zach. Those would be her boobs. That is not where the G-spot is. You wagered $5,000, which brings your value down to negative $1,400. <laughs> My dad's gonna be so mad. <laughs> F 
my dad. Yeah. If I were him, I would be too. F him. Let's take a look at Chris's answer. I'm sorry, you're a you're a horrible artist. Is that an arrow being drawn to her nipples? Yeah, no, it's the nipples. That would also be part of titties, which is similar to Zach's answer. And you wagered, I'll Venmo you. Yeah, or cash, I'll get you back next time. And finally, we have Jared. Dis dick. That is incorrect. And you wagered, D's nuts. Got him! <laughs> Jesus Christ. The correct answer is the vagina. The G spot is in the vagina. The f is a G spot. This game sucks. I thought this was Jeopardy, not science class. Jesus Christ. Okay, that pretty much sums up boy Jeopardy. I'm so sorry that you had to join us, and I hope that we don't have to do this again next week. I gotta go talk to the studio. <laughs>